is the next weekend and we are getting ready to finish painting the tile floor. Are you excited? I'm ready to get it done. Yo, 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 yo. So I made an interesting discovery on our tile floor yesterday. We have lived here almost a year and I have never noticed that. He definitely has never noticed that, but I'm usually the one, the more vigilant one. But I did not even notice this. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you the discovery. All right, for a reminder, this is our tile floor in the basement that we are getting ready to paint. And we've never been able to figure out what this strop is for, but why would they put a random strop? Well, I figured it out yesterday. If you stand like this, kind of like when you can be in two different countries at once or states at once, there are not one, not two, but three different types of tile. I never noticed never it. Never noticed it. And now you can't unsee it. Once you see it, I mean, it's like, well, yeah. They put that strop down to try to disguise this tile from that tile, which worked. So we're gonna try to get- Maybe it is like a division between like some kind of spiritual world or something. You know, like <laughs> if you're on this side, you're on the good side. On this side, you know, it's a little bit hotter over here. No! I don't know. This is brilliant. Like it's a test. <laughs> It's a test. It's but a test in logic that we failed until now. The question is, do we paint these when we go to paint them or just leave them? No, we paint them. That is why we are painting this floor. Getting the paint brushes out. You see it's still soft. You have to a week to clean on there. morning and I'm coming down to check out the freshly painted floors. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, they're looking so good. Uniformity. Woohoo! I am going to put one last coat on it. I can see a couple of spots that didn't get all the way filled in. And then this will be D-O-N-E done. All right, I'm on the last step. This is the top coat, and it is a lot different than it takes less of it. It's very drippy. I don't know the right word. <laughs> Milky. Anyway, it is the code that makes this not sticky and it's supposed to make it really durable.
coming to you from our freshly painted tile floor basement. We got all of it finished this weekend and I am so pumped to have it done and have this check off the list and be able to walk freely in my house again. <laughs> I thought that I would tell you um, a few little tips and give you like some encouragement or talk you out of it. <laughs> so for starters, the pros to painting your tile floor is without a doubt cost. Not many people unless they are just like super bored or really artistic and want to try the floor stencils or something like that are going to opt to paint the floors if, if a different flooring was an option for them. Like if they had cash on hand, workers ready to put the floor in, or they know how to do it themselves or whatever. There's only certain situations in which you would choose to paint your floor. So it is definitely the most cost effective. I looked at other types of floorings for the basement that are waterproof and I ran down a little cost analysis of the different types of flooring and what that would have cost compared to this. So here's that. If this flooring lasts even a few years, I think it will be well worth the hundred-ish dollar bills that I paid for it and the amount of work. Um, luckily, there are amazing bloggers out there who have tested this many years ago and give updates about how the floor is lasting. So thank you to all the home bloggers who've done that. You gave me the courage to paint the floor and I'm loving how it turned out. Can this be done in a weekend? Mm. Yes, if you start early enough. If you start like at 7 a.m. on Saturday and then you wait six hours to put on the second coat and then you let that dry overnight and then you get up Sunday morning and put the top coat on and let that dry 24 hours, then yes, technically it could be. But that means you're going to have to do the floor prep the night before on Friday night. And the floor prep is the hardest because not only do you have to get the floors spotless and clean, but you have to keep them spotless and clean. That means you have to keep your whole house clean or else your socks are going to be dragging the debris to the floor area that you need to paint and you have to start all over again. Now, like if you're painting a tile floor or linoleum floor of a bathroom and you just have one bathroom, that's going to be a challenge because where are you going to go to the bathroom? During all that time, you can't be on the floor. I also think kitchens would be an absolute pain to do. The work isn't hard. Like it's really, really easy to paint the floors, but just keeping people off of them. These are kitchens all the time, and so it would be really difficult to stay out of the kitchen or a bathroom if you only have one bathroom to do this project. But if you are like me and you absolutely hate your flooring and you want to change it up without you know construction work or a lot of money then yes this paint is the way to go it's kind of fun and the results are so satisfying to watch the tile that you hate being covered up never to be seen again it is very very nice <laughs> Now, a few questions that I got on Instagram and from my mother, or maybe just my one follower, my mother, <laughs> is kind of questioning the dark paint that I went with because as you can see, I'm in a stone space, so it's already dark to begin with. There's only two windows here and it does not get a lot of light. It's north facing or west facing. <laughs> I really don't know which facing it is. It's the one that doesn't get some light. So there's not a lot of light and it's a basement and I made it even darker by going with the black flooring. Yes, I did, but here was my rationale. It already had two light colored tiles on the floor and I didn't like those, I hated those. So I knew that tan was out of the option. One thing you'll learn about me is that when I go to change something or renovate something, I like a big transformation. 
When we bought this house, the colors were all dark and now all the walls are white. The floor was tan and now they're black. Like I just like, if I'm gonna do something, I want to be able to see a change. Like that's the most exciting part for me. And I was on Pinterest trying to figure out, you know, what I was gonna do with this floor and I saw some slate flooring and I thought, yes, if I could use this inspiration and get these floors looking anywhere near that slate flooring, it would be worth the hassle and the hundred dollars. So that is what I did, went with. Do I regret the decision? Absolutely not. I love it. I think it brings out the colors of the rock so much more than any other color would have. And I don't want the floors to be a focal point. I want the stone walls to be a focal point. So I just think your eye, you know, hopefully doesn't even really notice this or when I'm not talking about the floors. You won't even notice this. You'll just go whoop, straight up the stone wall into these amazing beams that have been here for like 200 years. That's what I want. Not the 80s tile that's been covered up with paint. <laughs>